So I'm finishing up my garlic planting for the year today. I've got most of it planted over in that 4 by 10. There's 165 cloves planted over there, but I have a few more I'm going to plant and I'm also planting bulbils today. So if you don't know what these are, these are essentially the closest thing to seeds that garlic produces and when hard neck garlic forms its flower um, it forms an umbel and these are little tiny bulbils they're larger on different species of garlic but uh, this is from music garlic one second and I'll show you a different variety that's a little bigger here's different ones I can't remember I think this might have been Georgian fire I lost my label um, but different kinds of garlic tend to have different sizes so the porcelains generally tend to be the smallest and when I plant those this is more like the size that I'll get from them next year but I have some different sizes of the music that I'll show you and generally from bulbil to like full-size bulb you're looking at three or four years for a porcelain type. It might shave a year or two off for some of these other kinds that are starting off bigger. So here are two or three year old bubbles. So this will be their third planting. And when they get to this stage, they're called rounds. You can see why, like, especially this one up here, it basically looks like a marble. And that's what we want. Like I want, I want a large um, round in the fall. I did actually get some cloves produced from my bulbils three years ago this year, but they're very small. Like this is a very small garlic bulb. But I'm gonna continue to plant them and they'll continue to get bigger. And this is an easy way to, if you're patient, to increase your garlic stock um, dramatically because you you can get thousands of bulbils and you can see the size difference here kind of a progression of how they go so I'm gonna plant these exactly like I plant I'll do a little separation of size here so that like sizes are with like sizes and you plant them exactly like you plant a clove of garlic once they're once they're clove sized. Those smaller ones, I'm going to make a little row and plant them very tight together and they'll look like blades of grass in the spring. So let's get those planted. So here's my row. You can see they're sprinkled quite heavily. I probably have enough to do another row. And in the spring, I'll show you, it'll, it'll just look like a line of grass. They're really small the first year. And I'll lose a lot of them. I do have them planted quite tightly together, but there will be lots for me to dig up. And you dig them up in the fall, just like you do the rest of your garlic. And then replant them a few months later. So I'll get these buried and show you the next strip okay so i've added two more rows of the music bubbles the ones that were freshly harvested this summer the teeny tiny ones and you'll notice those are just scattered in there too like you don't have to worry about orientation just scatter them in i went a little lighter on these rows and stretch it out to two instead of just one more row then you'll notice i've started to size up the bulbils, so the two and three year old ones. So they're, you know, I'm paying attention to orientation now a little more. They're given their own space. They still, these ones I've probably only given, like they're still quite small. They're still little. Um, so I've given them an inch, inch and a half maybe. And then I've got the little bit bigger. They've got probably two inches bigger and then I've got one more row of the really big marble size rounds.
and they're getting they're getting three three or four inches and hopefully they'll be full full bulbs next year so if you have never tried planting ball bills it's just another fun thing to play around with and increase your garlic stock relatively cheaply as long as you have a year or two you know or two or three years I guess okay I've got the small cloves that are the were the three-year-old ball bills divided planted the largest 50 in the first three rows here and then added another three rows which I think was another 60. They're not spaced quite as far apart. And that's going to conclude garlic for the 2022 garden. I just want to show you how I mulch my garlic. So this is the bed that I planted mid-October. I place a couple inches of leaves that I put on top of the bed and I use Remar Mesh as trellising in the garden and I lay one of those screens on top just to kind of hold the majority of the leaves in place. And in the spring, I'll wait until I see some garlic starting to poke through and I'll remove the mesh and remove most of the leaves. They are mulched, so some of the smaller pieces will compost over the winter. And that's what I do.